take a deeper dive into an ARI grant that Miss Noble actually received this year. I'm here today with Abby, one of her students, and her grant basically dealt with this book, Look and Cook. And we're going to find out a little bit about it from Abby. All right, Abby, so tell me a little bit about what this book is. It's got uh, written to it, and a lot to it stuff. So what kind of stuff can you cook? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Now, is there other recipes in here? Yes. How many? Quite a few? Yes. So when you're talking about spaghetti and stuff, and we're looking through this book, I noticed there's some recipes in here, and you told me one of your favorite recipes yes. was what? Spaghetti-o. spaghetti, -o. spaghetti -o. So. This is really unique because this is a recipe card, right? And when I'm looking at this recipe card here, it's broken down, looks like, into four little pieces, okay? So the first part, it talks about what? What are these things in the first part of this card? What are these? Oh, can That's a pan pot. So pots, can openers, what are we? Spoons. And these are what? Stuff you, cook with. stuff you cook with. So that's really going to help you or anybody that uses this card to cook, right? So there's also something else here. What is this right here? Food. Food. So that's what we're going to cook with. So then, okay, so the second section of this card, it shows us using some of the tools. And what are the tools that we're using here and why we're using those? So what's the can opener help us do? Open it. Open it up, and then what are we doing? Pouring. So we're pouring it in. Now when we pour it in, we're just going to set it here on the table and leave it there, or we're going to put it somewhere? On the pot, on the stove. Okay, so you tell me you put it on the stove. What temperature do I have to put it on? Medium. And, and I notice there's a yellow here. So I know we don't have the pieces with us, but do you have like a color coding system? What does, what, what's one color that means hot? Red. What's one that means cool? Why? Why? So we have those colors that actually help us understand while we're cooking. And that's what this book does. Now, even though we turn our stove on, we've got it on medium, what happens if you were to turn it on high? What would the food do? Burn. Burn. And do you like burnt spaghetti? No. no. I don't either. So there's something else. How long do I have to cook this recipe? Does this card help us? Five. Five what? Minutes. Five minutes. So during this five minutes, can you just leave it sitting there? Stone. Why do you stir it for? So we don't want our food to burn, so we have to stir it. So after the warm goes off, right, and we've got a pot over here with our food in it, what do we do then? You eat it. And what are we going to eat it in? Balls. Balls. So if we had some spaghetti right now, and we had our stove and stuff set up, you could make that for me, right? Yeah. And we'd both be very happy, right? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about something you did yesterday. Now, this is a little different than the spaghetti else, but I bet it falls down to your same thing that you like. I heard that you were making spaghetti, right? The same thing. So we have our card here. It's broken into four pieces. I know yesterday that we videotaped you and stuff like that making this, so she was working really hard at doing this. And uh, same process. A little more complicated, though, right? So when we were doing the cooking and things like that, before we got to this part, before you even do this, what do you have to have? The, the, the stuff to fix it. The stuff to fix it. So I know that you brought this with you, and this basically is your what? Grocery list. Grocery list. So tell me a little bit about what was on your grocery list. So just go through a couple of little pieces. So you got spaghetti. Butter. Got some butter. Salt. Got some salt. Chuck. Some ground chuck. Now, some people call that hamburger, right? Yeah. And you could probably put some other meats in it, right? Remember, yeah, we were talking earlier about, you know, we could be, you know, do this a little bit differently. Some people like meat in there, some, some people don't. Like and then salt. I know Taylor's not here right now, and she's Abby's classmate. And what I really was interested in, what she said the other day, was that she had made a recipe on Friday, and what was that recipe? Pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Now, she did something unique. Abby, what did they do with the recipe that they had over the weekend? They made it. They made it, and then what did they do? They ate it. They ate it. And uh, the thing about it was what? When that she came back. She told us. She told us, and was it good? Yeah. And did her mom like it? Do you like working with your mom in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's something. That's really getting the family and stuff working together, and that's what can do it. Uh, you know, like I said, I really like it. I think it's a really good thing because there's a lot of things that have been cut out 
in schools. Uh, one is basically a life skill. And I think this book is teaching students how to actually do that. And so, Abby, if there's anything else that you would like to say. This book taught my students how to use forever. Well, that's really good. You know, because, you know, like I said, I thought this was pretty good. And I think other people will be able to use this too, wouldn't you? So would you recommend teachers and students in other schools to use the Looking Cookbook? Yeah. Well, thank you, Abby. It's been a pleasure. And I hope everyone out there has enjoyed this interview. And again, like I said, if you need more information on this, please contact Ms. Noble at Jackson Independent. Have a great day.